Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, guys, for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you to fix um, with Instagram the problem of the problem of um, Instagram suspicious login attempt. So if you're seeing the error as seen on screen here, where you're getting suspicious login attempt, um, of course, I'm going to show you and run you through the various scenarios in which you can use to get the problem solved all right so let's get straight into it guys now the first thing i wanted to do in case you're getting that error when you're trying to use the instagram app um first of all all right so the first thing you need to do guys is to um gain access to your um instagram once more and to do that there are several things you're going to try so of course let's go ahead and try to log in as normal uh, most likely you're still getting those errors so if that's not working, guys, at least or it's not allowing you to log in, there are a few things you can do. So the first thing you want to do is go to the um, Google Play Store. And of course, make sure that the app is up to date. So the search for Instagram. And of course, if there's an update as seen on my now, make sure that you're up to date with the latest um, security patches. So just go ahead and um, hit the update um, button. Allow it to update to the latest version to make sure that you have all of the um, latest um patches and so on so that's allow it to do its thing and as you're seeing here all right so when it's finished you'll have the option to um when it's finished you'll have the option to open go ahead again and try to open if that fails and you're still not being allowed to log in go to settings once you're in settings guys um, just go down and you're going to find the option down here that says apps. You're going to go to apps. Once you're in apps, you're going to search for the Instagram application. Once you find Instagram, go to Instagram here. Just then select storage. Um, next, you're going to um, clear the cache. And of course, once you clear the cache, you're next going to go ahead and clear data. It should give you this warning right here. Do not worry, let's go ahead and hit OK. I'll not do that right now. And of course, by doing that, what you're doing is that you're clearing up the app. Then you're going to launch the application. All right, so let me just do it on here. So I'm going to clear cache, clear data. And of course, once you're here, just go ahead and hit OK. And of course, once you do that, you'll clear the cache for the application. Next, you're going to find the app again. And once you find the app this time, what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and log or try to log in so let's go ahead and launch you should be locked out you should have um several options so if you have gotten this far now to interface with your account um next you'll see that you have several options on here try to log in with facebook or try to manually enter your password um of course you can always um go to the regular screen here you can enter your phone number password and then hit log in now guys, in some cases, you might forget your password. For those persons that have forgotten their password, simply click on the get help signing in. And of course, it will show you your email. Once you have your email, enter it next and it will send the recovery to the email or your specified recovery method that you have. Again, remember that you can also log in with Facebook in case you do not um, have that. If you're not getting the options as seen there, there's other alternatives as well. You can go here. All right, so if you're not getting in that way, remember that you can also go to the Instagram website. So if you're not getting in this way, remember you can go to the Instagram website. So you can always go to, and the website is www.instagram.com. Simply type in the information and you'll be taken to the um, login screen. Um, it applies the same way as the app. So in case you're not getting in that way, what you can do from here, guys, is just simply hit um, sign in with your phone number if you want it'll give you the same setup to simply put in the email or your phone number or if you want it does give you to continue with facebook and so on so from here just go ahead and log in there's also the facebook option that you can use so as seen here you can always log in with facebook and of course here's the option as well that you forgot your password if you want and you simply have to inf um, enter your information all right, guys, um, after logging in, it doesn't really matter if you're in the app or in the um, through the web browser. The option is yours. It's all basically the same thing um, in some sense, and it has a similar layout. Now, once you're into your account, 
um, after either resetting the password with the options given or of course using Facebook to log in or using your phone number to recover your account, um, you should be in. Now, if you are in, especially after changing the password, you may want to just um, run through some security protocols. Now, the protocols are simple. Simply go ahead and tap from your profile. So make sure you're on your profile here. So tap on the profile, then click the three dots, sorry, the three lines upper right. Once you're here, go to settings. And once you're in settings, guys, you're going to do a few things. And among them, guys, the first thing I suggest that you do, especially if your password was changed, and it required that you reset your password in the first place. Or, of course, just in case you um, want to be on the safe side for security reasons, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do a, a security check audit. So in terms of security, you're going to go into security options right here. And of course, what you're going to do right here now is under password, you're just going to go ahead and you're going to change your password. It's going to require that you enter your current password, new password, new password. And of course, you're going to go ahead and do all of that. You're going to change your password. By changing your password, what you're going to do right here is you're going to change it to make sure in case the first one was compromised in that the person was trying to attempt to um, log into your account. And I assume from earlier, whenever you are warned that somebody was trying to access your account from um, a strange place, that you had actually took note as to what the place was and said it was not you. Um, so um, your account could have been um, protected or to prevent that login. So just doing this now is just going to prevent them from accessing your account. Once you do that, next, go over to two-factor authentication. Um, mine is already enabled. But make sure yours is turned on. You can use text, send that to your um, phone number. So just turn that on, follow the instructions and set up two-factor authentication. So what that means is that as soon as you try to log in afresh, it should send you a text to your phone. And then, of course, it will give you a special code. If a person doesn't have that code, they can't log in. And of course, that's going to add a secondary layer of protection to your account. Of course, right now, I'm not going to do that. Next thing you can do also, guys, is you can um, throw the person or force the person to log out on the other end that's trying to access your account. Notice here it says login activity. Um, you'll simply hit that. And once you're on login activity, search for the strange location that you have seen. Notice there is geographic location, especially if it's outside of a country or in another country that you have never seen before. It will also tell you the time. They might even be logged in right now. So let's say they are logged in right now. Just go ahead and tap the three dots to the side here. And once you do that, guys, just hit log out. So you'll force log out those persons by doing that um, if they weren't um, already um, kicked out by the changing of the password. So by doing a force log out, what you have just done is... You are now trying to regain access to your account. Now, of course, once you do that, you can exit this screen. And the next thing I wanted to do, guys, is just leave the security screen right here. And what you're going to do here is that you're going to go down to the help section right here as a last resort. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to help center. And of course, you can use um, the, sorry, you're not going to go to help center. Sorry, that was an error. So from here, you're going to go to report a problem. And of course, it says report spam or abuse, send feedback, report a problem. Of course, you're going to report a problem. And of course, you should be brought um, to this screen right here. If you have a screenshot of the um, error itself, go ahead and um, upload it. It's not necessary. You can always describe. So from here, go ahead and set that. Um, just make a note that. Remember to stick to the main points. Um, stick to the points. Um, say, hey, something like this. You don't have to write what I write. I... And I'll write this out and then read it to you. All right, guys, so I've just basically um, summed up a small um, letter here. And it says, hey, I'm having issues with suspicious login attempts from wherever I can make mention of the specific region if I know where the issue is coming from. And you can also make mention of um, as to where you are normally or whatever it is. They should know that already still seeing that most of your login activity should be from that region. Um, next, I have um, changed my password, just um, outline or simply outline what you have done. I have enabled two-factor authentication just in case I didn't enable that before. And of course, you can make mention, I can log in, let's say, um, through the browser. In some cases, you might only be allowed to log in through the browser and I can't log in through the app or if, I, if you're having problems with the 
browser you can say i'm having i can log in through the app but not the browser and so on so simply be straight to the point outline all the details and so on and once you have done all of that just go ahead and um, submit what should happen is that they should look into the matter for you and if there's something they can do to um secure your account they could also block um that particular person is trying to uh, mess with your account now of course guys none of this is foolproof um, you will have to take some initiative on your part as shown before so just remember one it doesn't really matter which um, device you're on uh, make sure that you try to log in there are so many ways you can log in you can log into the app or you can log in um, by the browser um, if you have forgotten your email there's options to reset by various methods you can use facebook and so on so there's no excuse as to especially if the account is yours to regain access to the account once you regain access whether it's by the app or by the browser simply go in and change up your password for security reasons enable additional security as i just showed you also check for login regions as to where the person has logged in if you see anything suspicious force log out that person and of course as i showed just go ahead and um, formally report the issue when you report the issue of course it would mean that the admins over at instagram can take it a uh, notch further by actually helping you out and of course if you do all of those things you should be able to solve the problem of your suspicious login attempt all right guys so of course i've gone into the, this um problem in detail i hope you found this useful as always guys ricardo garner from blog tech tips saying bye until next time bye guys